boom 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 base guess what i'm doing super base video makeup woohoo if you don't know who i am i am kels mania and i'm doing the Nicki minaj super base inspired look yep you guessed it i know everybody has done this look already and i'm like super late but i don't care yeah i don't care so it's really really simple i promise um, all you need is uh, a 120 palette, if you have that, or if you don't have the 120 palette, I'm sorry, because that's what I used in my video. You can definitely use MAC or whatever you want to use, it's fine to pull this look off. Really, really simple, really easy, really fun, and really nicky, because I would definitely not walk outside with these pink lips. But yeah, if you're interested in how to achieve this look, stay tuned. Okay, first you're going to start off with a primer. And I'm using Urban Decay Primer Potion. You're just going to place that all over your lid. Just running out. Now I'm going to apply my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, and I'm using a paintbrush, because it's um, smashed. So I'm just taking a little bit off the tip. And this is going to make that yellow on your lid pop. Okay, just blend that out so you can prevent the creasing. So like that. And for the yellow, I'm going to be using my 120 palette. And I'm going to be using this yellow right here. Because on the video, I seen that Nikki had like this golden yellow. So that one has a little bit of gold in it. So you're just going to place that onto your lid. So I'm just patting so that the color can be vibrant. So like that, and add some more so it can be more vibrant. Okay, now I'm going to take a blending brush and I'm going to blend out the edges, and mainly just the outer corner. Because I've seen in the video, this was a little bit more sharp, and then this was a little bit more blended. So I'm going to blend. So just focusing my blending on the end. Okay. Next, I'm going to take Max Texture, and I just dropped it and broke it, and you know I want to die because Max Texture is my favorite eyeshadow. So, I'm just going to take a blending brush, and just place texture into the crease.
so like that. Okay, and in the video, she had a very, very subtle highlight, barely noticeable, so I'm going to use Max Error to highlight my brow. Just something really, really subtle. And just make sure that the highlight and the crease color are blended together. Okay. And under the eyes, she had like this baby pink. So I'm going to take my Revlon Cream Shadows. And this is Wild Orchid. And I'm taking the very last color. It's just a little soft pink color. Taking an angled brush and applying that to my waterline. Okay, now I'm going to apply that baby pink color. And I'm also using my 120 palette. I'm using this pink. Ooh, it's broken. I don't want it to fall. Oh, we can see this pink here. So applying that pink onto the lower lash line. like that and I couldn't really see what she had on the waterline so I'm going to be using my NYX jumbo pencil in oyster and applying that to my waterline you can also use white if you like so just like that and the oyster is just like a purple color purplish pink color Okay, now you're going to add your liquid liner. Okay, just a little thin line, small wing, so like that, you can add mascara, and I'm using Buxom Abair Essentials, Is that right? yeah, so it just gets some of the fallout off your lashes. Okay, and that is it. I'm going to apply lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I have my MAC number 42 feathered eyelashes on. Um, on my lips, I have a mixture of Pretty Please. And my Lady Gaga lipstick. So I have both of those on. And I topped it with a gloss. Just a random gloss. And that is it for the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it.